but in the eyes of the IRS, this is a, not a like kind asset, right? They're selling a piece of real estate. And what they're asking if they can exchange into is a membership uh, interest in an LLC, which in turn owns the real estate. So what do you say the biggest frustration is when it comes to, you know, clients, friends, or family, when they're exiting highly appreciated assets and they want to invest with you, you know, they could be exiting crypto or a business, or they could be exiting even a regular property, right? Um, as it pertains to the 1031 exchange or lack there of options that they want to be with you, maybe in your fund. I'm not even sure if you guys have a fund model, by the way, or if it's a syndication model, but I'm just kind of curious on, on how you tackle that when people call you and they have a big gain and they want to invest, but they're, they're subject to big capital gains tax. Yeah, no, great question. I mean, I run into this, I feel like every week, um, someone's got the question about this and, you know, pretty, again, kind of tell them what I can confidently and then tell them, hey, maybe you need to talk to a professional like yourself, right? So uh, typically we structure investments as a GPLP structure. We are the GP, the manager of the investment and investors who join us are limited partners. Um, in an entity like an LLC, which owns a real estate. So that's kind of where lies the problem, right? Someone says, hey, I'm so tired of managing my rental houses. I want to be done. And I, I get it, right? I made that transition to passive a long time ago myself um, in my own personal portfolio. So they're saying, I'm sitting on all these gains. I want to exchange into your fund. I love what you guys are doing. I want to have exposure to industrial real estate. I love the cash flow. Uh, can I 1031 exchange in your fund? And the answer um, is, is there's not a straightforward way of doing that, right? Because they're in the eyes of the IRS, and correct me where I'm wrong here, but in the eyes of the IRS, this is a, not a like kind asset, right? They're selling a piece of real estate. And what they're asking if they can exchange into is a membership uh, interest in an LLC, which in turn owns the real estate. So those are not like kind assets in the eyes of the IRS. So they're not able to do that. Absolutely. You're exactly right. And that's why we create a solution for this. And we work with individuals like yourself and others that are exiting highly appreciated assets and do not want to be trapped by the 1031 exchange strict rules, but must be like kind. We call that blockbuster exit planning where everything has to go exactly right. And oftentimes uh, for the groups that we work with, it, it's not like kind because the fund is not like kind. And so it doesn't work. However, we do have a strategy called the Deferred Sales Trust, which does work. You can exit and you can invest into unlike kind assets, such as stocks, such as LP interest, GP interest, such as hard money lending, such as startup companies, really any asset of any kind, cryptocurrency, you can exit from and you can invest into all tax deferred. Uh, but you need to have a plan. You have a team to understand what it is and how it works. And you go to capitalgainstaxsolutions.com. It's capitalgainstaxsolutions.com.